Our next session is called The Solution to Missing Mediatrician. Please welcome Peter Coppell, president of Coppell Direct. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. A century ago, department store owner John Wanamaker said, I know half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is, I don't know which half. Then the modern age of direct marketing came along, and a new form of accountable advertising was born uh, with dedicated toll-free numbers that enabled marketers to measure precisely which advertising was efficient and which advertising was wasted. Until more recently, with the internet, social marketing, mobile marketing, the power was exchanged to the hands of consumers and direct marketers' ability to track was degraded. Here's an example of the problem marketers are facing today. According to Microsoft's Atlas Institute, 93 to 95% of audience engagements with online advertising receive no credits when it comes to online, when it comes to ROI calculations. Well, today, I'm going to show you how, through the latest in advanced attribution technology, that it's possible to track the effectiveness of your ad campaign in today's multi-channel reality using what we call digital fingerprinting technology. We all know the problem. A consumer is exposed to a DRTV ad, and they may not respond in the traditional manner by picking up the phone to call. But then they might go, be online later, and they see a sponsored ad on Facebook, and they click on the link. And then they might do a non-branded search with Google, and then eventually make a purchase or they generate a lead. But the media that originally sparked their interest does not receive credit or attribution for generating the sale or the lead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't advancing my slides. These multiple consumer touch points are often analyzed and in the best case scenario on an isolated basis. The trouble with this approach is that it often leads to suboptimal campaign performance because how, the consumer, how these consumer touch points overlap and ultimately affect actual consumer behavior gets lost. Simply put, you don't know how to optimize, so you only consider the last consumer touch point instead of all their interactions. So what we see here in this slide is um, what online, online conversion looks like as a result of a consumer seeing a TV spot. And in this case, the online conversion is misallocated. As you can see, the lines are overlapping. So it's, not, it, it's impossible to decipher the impact online, which channel that's coming from. Sorry, okay. That's where digital fingerprinting technology comes into play. Um, it's a superior comprehensive approach that's far more accurate than looking at media in one-dimensional terms, in terms of silos. The way that impressions and activity online are commonly tracked are limiting. And as soon as someone clears their cache and they should come back to your site, a lot of times they'll be misidentified. With this fingerprinting technology, if you notice on the left, there's a chocolate chip cookie on the top and then a fortune cookie on the bottom. So if they come back to the site and they've cleaned their ca cleared their cache, you're not going to know who they are. With fingerprinting technology, the information stored on a cloud and you're able to track someone for 430 days. 
So on the right, you can see they came back and they were identified as the same customer. Fingerprinting technology helps you identify, I'm sorry, let me see. Uh, fingerprinting technology helps you capture customer interactions across multiple channels and platforms. And it's a multi-attribution approach that allows us to accurately measure, analyze, and optimize contribution by channel. So you can see here, it has an online intelligence platform that pulls in information from all media sources, from Google, all the search engines, all social media, uh, ad networks, core metrics, Omniture, third party networks, and all forms of offline media, including DRTV, print, online, radio, call center data. And that's all pulled into an intelligence platform uh, where it can be analyzed. So, Let's drill down a little bit more. I'll show you exactly what this looks like for an actual client. This is a dashboard for a couple's resort. And you can see here, it actually pulls in the information by source, by online channel. So it will show you the actual dollar volume contribution of confirmed reservations from organic brand, social networking, direct, organic non-brand, pay-per-click and it accumulates all that data so you can look at the total overall contribution. It also provides you with multi-channel click trail data. And what that means is if someone sees a TV spot and then receives, say, some emails and then subsequently clicks on a branded search term and then confirms a reservation, it will show you that entire process. It also has the ability to look at the click trail da data of multiple devices. So if someone comes in through a tablet, a smartphone, a laptop, it's gonna pull in that information so you're gonna know the source of where they came from. And also this, this demonstrates um, the ability of the system to identify you when you come back to the site. So you can see someone initi initiated a search, they went to Couples Resort, they got to the page with the rates, and then they abandoned uh, their transaction. But they came back later, the um, fingerprinting technology identified them, picked up the, that transaction and took it through to a confirmed reservation. So what the, the fingerprinting can, technology can do um, is it can actually um, clear up a lot of the confusion um, that I showed you in the earlier slide. Here, here you can see source conversion by online channel using the dig digital fingerprinting technology. So you see the various TV networks that are airing spots, and then you're seeing the conversion online and it's clearly sourcing where the conversion is occurring online. And if you recall before, a lot of the lines were overlapping. It also has a lot of different modules to it where it can pull in data on the most profitable TV networks, the top performing networks, the bottom performing networks, so it helps you to optimize the campaign better. And it also allows you to track that web activity back to specific TV networks um, so you can better optimize your campaign. So how does this work? Fingerprinting print, technology uses a complex formula or algorithm that examines the probability of conversion as a function of exposure. So there's science behind it. Um, but you know, you, you, you might want to hear a real world example of this, um, which brings it more into context. Uh, you may have heard that um, General Motors recently decided to pull their advertising from Facebook. They were spending $10 million a month with Facebook. 
and they pulled their advertising right before their IPO, um, and they determined using this technology that Facebook wasn't working, and it was, um, it was um, you know, $120 million I was spending a year, so it was a significant hit. Um, so that's an example of how this technology can work for a very large marketer. I think they spend about $660 million a year. So in conclusion, this fingerprinting technology gives you more accurate attribution, better campaign optimization, and improved ROI. Thank you.